lovely beaters. This is something very interesting I want to share with you today. And this is a triangle bezel. This is made around a cluster of three glass bicones. I think it looks very pretty. And this is what I invite you now to watch. We are going to use bicons, glass bicons, and here I have a triangle be uh, bezel made with four millimeter bicones, here with six, and here with eight. The tutorial is going to use 11-0 seed beads in a quite cylindrical uh, shape, 11, 15 o seed beads, uh, thread and uh, beading needle, and I am going to use 6 mm bicones. The technique is the same, and in the same way you can create the other two sizes as I am going to make this uh, six millimeter triangle bezel. To make our bezel we start by creating first the base triangle and after that we create the what I call belly band bezel. So we start by picking up one bicone 111 Bicone 11 O, Bicone 11 O, and we close this in a circle that will become a triangle and make a knot. Okay, so this is our base triangle. Now we move the thread to come out of one of the seed beads and at this point we are ready to start our belly band bezel. So here for a 6 mm bicon with the type of seed beads that I am using here, I need 2, 4, 6, 8, and here we check if it's enough. The idea is that this entire space has to be covered by the seed beads. So let's check. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just see whatever is good for your design and for the beads you have to. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is the last one. And now we start working the peyote. When uh, we work the peyote stitch, we must make sure that the first row is an even number of beads. In this case, we have 24 around uh, from the loops around the bicons plus 3 
in between the loops so this is 27 this means that uh, I have to either add one seed bead in one of the loops in the last one or to create the um, a peyote stitch over two seed beads instead of uh, one for just one stitch. Tension of the thread. So we skip this one, we go through the next one. Skip, go through the next one. And here, because we need an even number of beads, I have decided like to go over two beads instead of one. So this is the second option you have to create an even number for your peyote, circular peyote. And here we step up. Now we make one more row of peyote with 11 O's. Our 11 O bezel. In the next row, we are going to add two rows, one row of 15 O and then another set, uh, another row of 15 O. One more side of the triangle. Here, as you can see, we have to step up as this is the last stitch so we go through the 11 0 and 15 0 and here we are Now we can go on the other side and uh, add a row of 15 0 because it's really up to us to see what works for the beads we have.
and here we are at the last stitch so we have to step up through two beads so let me cut the tail now so this is our bezel you can leave it like this if you like it or you can add one more row on both sides taking into account the corners so if you want to make one more let me have a look at my shape so here I have corner 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 and we consider the corners in the 11 O's so when we are at the corners we do not stitch over the corners we just go through the bead and then up the next 15 O and now we on this side we just peyote stitch in the normal way between the 15 O's now let's carefully have a look so this one looks to me like the corner so we add one more 15 o so we add one more 15 o and here instead of adding another 15 o we go through the 11 o and up the 15 o and we reinforce this way the triangle shape of the bead now on this side we continue with the peyote stitch Here we had those two, we go over with just one. And pull the thread. And here, if we check the work again, this is the last corner the last 11 o that we go through to emphasize the corner This is the last stitch before the last corner we go through the corner and then we move the thread on the other side to create the same triangle shape actually to emphasize it with uh, second row of 15 o so let's have a look at the shape so we have here here and here so peyote peyote Mm 
this would be the fifth 11 0 go up the 15 0 and now we pay out at this side Okay. This would be the corner, so we go through the 11 0 up the 15 0. Control the tension and another side of the triangle. One more stitch and this is the 11 0 of the corner. Go through 11 0 and then up the 15 0. And this being the last stitch we step up going through these two we control the tension of the thread and now we can weave in and cut the thread so this is how I usually weave in And one more, and this is like a knot. And here you have the triangle that is made with glass bicones and then bezeled around. And now you can connect these uh, components and use them in uh, your creative beaded designs. Thank you for watching. If uh, you have any questions, please leave, uh, please put your questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer them to my best. For uh, our one of our future tutorials, I want to show you how you can make another type of bezel for this uh, triangle uh, component made with bicons. I hope you like this tutorial. Please uh, subscribe and. Uh, with our next tutorial.